Hi, I'm Stacy Benson. My instructors and I are going to take you through one of the safest and most effective forms of aerobic training used today. We call it stepping. This high-intensity, low-impact workout can be individualized to meet the needs of any participant, regardless of your fitness level or your previous exercise experience. The energy expenditure utilized in stepping is comparable to that of running at 7 miles an hour, but the impact forces incurred by the feet and legs are equivalent to walking at 3 miles an hour, so it's a great workout. Um, in order to ensure your safety and success, remember to keep a few things in mind. If you're just starting a step program, keep the platform at its lowest level until you're able to complete the 25 minutes of stepping that we do in the tape comfortably. If you need to modify the routine anyway, make sure that you do that if it's necessary, okay? Um, rule number two, maintain proper posture and technique at all times. This means that the knees are always soft or slightly bent, the chest is always lifted, and the abdominals are held in real tight to support the low back. Rule number three, Three, step onto the center of the platform with the full foot, but when you step off, land on the ball of the foot and then drop the heel for extra shock absorption. And we never want to turn or pivot while the knee is loaded, okay? So for example, I'm going to be showing you a variation of an alternating knee, but whenever I turn with this knee, I'm going to turn while I'm unloading the knee. So I'm going to turn in the air so it looks like this. Watch my foot. I'm going to turn when I'm in the air and that way I don't get any torque, okay? And lastly, make sure that you wear a supportive aerobic shoe that provides traction as well as shock absorption. Have a great workout. Remember that all the choreography that you'll see in the video adheres to strict safety guidelines set within the aerobic and fitness industry. To my right is Eileen Sharon, and to my left is Linda Sparacino, two extraordinary aerobic instructors from California. Now before we get started, we're going to calculate our target heart rate range, and then at the conclusion of the stepping, we'll be taking a heart rate. Okay, let's take a look at the charts. To find your pulse, place your first two fingers on your carotid artery, straight down from the corner of the eye, or on your radial artery at the base of your thumb. Following the aerobics portion of your workout, we will have a 10 second count and then multiply your pulse count by 6. Now, let's take a look at the conversion table. Your target heart rate range is determined by the equation 220 minus your age times 0.60% for a lower intensity workout and by 0.85% for a higher intensity workout. It is very important to listen to your body for any signs of overexertion, such as pounding in the chest, faintness or dizziness. Go at your own pace. Let's take our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Bend your knees, pull your abdominals in, drop your shoulders, and give me a nice deep breath in. Opening up the ribcage, and exhale. Good, do that again. Inhale up, and exhale. Two more times, take it up, and blow it out. Last time. This time, hold it right here at the top. Hands together. Bend your knees. Push it up and out to the left and the right. There you go. Lifting up and out. Now go ahead and extend one arm at a time, pushing straight overhead. Reach it out. Good. Four more here. Now give me a heel lift. Just peel it off the floor. Now take that arm. Reach it across the chest. Bend the outside knee, taking it a little bit lower down to the lunge. Good. Four here. Take those hands back to the top again. Reach up for four. Now reach across, take it low. Take it high again. Now this time when I reach across, I'm going to do a little leg lift right here. Look at that. So drop the toe again for the reach. And then lift it right here. There you go. Now push it forward, pull your feet together right here. How you guys doing? Now take one foot to the back at a time. One more here, and then we're going to push the arms straight to the floor. Here we go. Push it down. Get ready to go back to the very beginning. Right arm. Reach it up. Now reach across with the leg lift. Now push it forward. Pull your feet together. Drop the arms and lift the foot to the back. You got it. Right arm. Reach it up. Now reach across. 
Good. Push it forward. Pull the feet in. Drop the arms and lift the foot. Now hold it right here. Take the arms forward and pull back. Don't forget that first part. We're just going to add on a little bit more. Now take your foot and tap the step right in front. Here we go. Figure out where it's at. Now take the arms a little bit higher. And we're just going to pull the knees straight in front of the hip. Here we go. Right here. Take it up. Now put those together. Tap the step. Now give me the knee. Do that again. Tap the step. And the knee. Do you remember the first step? Right on. Reach it up. Let's go. Reach across. Lift the leg a bit. Now push it forward. Pull your feet together. Drop the arms and lift the foot. Good. Now pull it back. Tap the step right here. Now the knees. You got it. Right arm. Reach it up. Now hold it right here. Give me two arms. Now take those arms. Swing them right through the middle. Good. Now give me a rock. As the arms come back, we're going to peel the toes off the floor. Taking around to the side. Thinking about the lower leg. Good. Reach in front of the shoulders and pull straight back. Two more. Now leave the front foot down, just the back heel. So peel and press. Three more. You got them. Now hold the back heel down. Keep the arms going. And instead of pulling the elbows down and back, I'm going to take the elbows to the side right here. Reach and pull side. Now as the arms come forward, bend the back knee right here. Good. Make sure you pull the abdominals right up into the spine as you bend that knee. Tilt the pelvis. Four more. Last two. Now hold the stretch and relax the arms. Right there. Drop the hands. Pressing that back heel right into the floor. Now slide the back foot way out. Keep the front knee exactly where it's at. One hand on the step. Now from the hip. Just a gentle lift and a press. Good. Listening up the hip flexors and the quadriceps. That's two. Okay, hold it right here at the bottom. Drop the back leg to the floor, and we're just going to shift all the way back, flexing the front foot, and press right over the top, stretching out the hamstring. Now point and flex front foot, just point, pull the toes back. Anterior tibialis, right in the front of that lower leg. We've got four. That's two. Okay, hold it back right there. Now press forward back into the lunge, and we're going to draw the back knee under the hip again. Knees out to the side, and roll it up. Both arms reaching forward and pull straight back right here. Reach and pull. Now take these arms over to the right, and give me that rock. Here we go. Take the toes up and the back heel. Two more here. Now leave the front foot flat, just the back heel to peel. Press. That gastrocnemius and lower get leg gets a lot of work during the stepping. So make sure you warm it up real good. Last four. Two more. Okay, hold the heel down. Give me a bicep curl with you. Now as you bend the elbows, you're going to bend the back knee. Let's go. Pull it in. And press good. Two more. Okay, relax the arms. Hold the stretch right there. Now slide that back foot out. Keep the front knee where it's at. Drop the hand for support. And from the hip, straight up. It's a lift and a press. And again, pull those abs right up to the spine. Two more. And hold it right here at the bottom. Drop the back leg. Pull the shoulders back. Flex your front foot. And press right over the top of that step. Good. Point and flex. Take it forward and pull back. That's four. And two. Okay, hold it back there, right there. Back toe to the floor, push forward into that lunge again. And draw the back knee under the hip, knees out to the side, and just round and flatten your back. Round it here and flatten it out. Good, stretch all those muscles around the spine. We got three more. Are you guys getting warm? You all right? Two more. Okay, let's roll it. All the way up this time, and march it out right foot. Lay it into the middle. 
Now take that march on top of your step for a while. Hold it up here for four and three, two. Now back to the floor for four. Let's do that again. Make sure you're right in the center of the step. And back to the floor. Now we're going to go into a basic step, up, up, down, down. Right foot. Go up, up, down, down. Good. Let's hide the arms. Okay, watch my arms. Right arm first. Give it to me to the side. Now the left. Now pull it forward. Do that again. Right arm side. Left. Pull them together. Perfect. Go right. One more time. Now get rid of the arms, just the feet. And we're going to step out a little bit wider into a V step. Make sure you're turned out from the hips. And watch the arms. Right arm first goes up. Now left. Pump them right into the waist. Good, right? I'm getting warm already. Two more. Okay, back to the basic step. Here we go. Right arm. Now the V step. You got it. Basic. And the V. Let's do one more set and then we're going to add on. Don't forget this part. <laughs> okay, basic step. Reach and pull with the arms. Now, whenever you pull the elbows back, we're going to take it to a knee lift. I'll tell you when. It's called an alternating knee. We got four more here. Then three. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Pull your left knee up. Now your right knee. And we're just alternating our lead leg. This is going to be move three. Four more of them. Now instead of pulling the knee up, we're going to tap the side of the step right here. Now watch the arms. I'm going to take them to a bow and arrow, then pull back. Bow, back. This is move four. Let's go back to that alternating knee. Here we go. Reach and pull. Now the bow and arrow. And reach and pull. Bow and arrow. And the knee. Okay, hold it right here. Let's take these knees over to the corner. And we're going to add on one more part. We got four more here. Two more. Now instead of doing one knee, give me three knees. Right here, three knees and two. Now the other side. And I'm going to call these repeaters. Now instead of doing the knees the whole time, I'm going to change the legs, but you guys watch Eileen and Linda. Good, I'm going to do a knee and then a leg and then a curl. Now do it with me this time. Knee and leg and curl, other side. You ready for some other arms? Okay, here's the arms. You're going to reach and pull, then bow and arrow on the leg, then push down, and bicep curl. Reach, bow and arrow, push down. Woo! Should we go back to the very beginning? Let's do one more time. Okay, here we go. Basic step, right arm. Now the V-step, take it out. Now alternating knee to the front. Bow and arrow, tap the side. You got it, now repeaters. And leg, good. Other side, one knee, and basic step, right foot. And the V. You got the whole combination, alternating knee. Now remember to modify the routines if you need to, to make it a little bit more comfortable. Repeaters to the left. One knee, one leg, and curl it. You got it. And last step, basic. And the V. And alternating knee. Okay, now hold it right here. Let's get rid of the arms. And whenever the knee comes up, we're going to take the arms overhead. Here we go. Take them up. Hold them. Now go ahead and bridge those arms. That means we're going to double them up. Now add a little push on top of the step. We call that a propulsion, a hop. 
Now I'm going to demonstrate some quarter hop turns to you guys, but I want you to keep working with Eileen and Linda in the back and just watch what I do with these. I'm going to do one knee in place, then I'm going to turn it, then I'm going to do one knee in place, then I'm going to turn again. Then I'm going to do one knee in place, then I'm going to turn it, woo! One knee in place. You guys want to do it with me? Here we go, one knee in place, turn it to that side, one knee in place. And remember that you're mirroring us. Now turn around, don't look at the TV. <laughs> turn it. Facing the front again, did we make it? Let's do one more and then we'll add on. Okay, hold it right here, give me a kick to the front. Woo. Two more here. Now basic step, basic step. Go up. And you should, you at home should be stepping with the right foot. We're on the left foot. So remember that you're mirroring us. Two more here. You ready for a power jack? Here we go. Feet apart. Power jack. Take it out and clap it. Three more. Two more. Take it back to the basic step. Front foot. Now the power jack. Now one of each. Basic step. Power jack. One more time. Let's go back to the beginning. Here we go. Alternating knee. Front foot steps up. Now turn it. Good. Hold it here. Turn it. Now kick it out. And kick again. Now basic step. Power jack. Basic again. Power jack. Alternating knee. Turn it. Again, turn it, and kick it out. Kick again. We're going to add on at the end of this. Basic step, toe jack, one more. Now march on top of your step, front foot, march it up. Hold it here for a minute. We're going to add on one more thing called a T-step, but we'll start with a straddle down, front leg, down, down, up. Good. Two more here. Now same step, but off the end of your bench. Step back. Two more. Now two of each. Straddle down, take it up. Again. And off the end. Chest still lifted. One of each. Straddle, off the end. Yeah. Now this is called a T-step, because we're kind of making a T. Watch my arms, they're going to fall the legs. Side, side, and up. Down, down, and touch. Side, side. Woo! We got one more. Okay, now march on the floor. Hold it here. March it up. Do you remember the very beginning? Do you remember the very beginning? Are you ready? We got four here. Alternating knee. Step it up. And one knee. Now turn it. One knee. Turn it. Take it out. Now basic step, back foot, power jack, again basic, power, now T-step, walk it up, step side, off the end, do it again, you got the whole thing, alternating knee, here we go, push it up, and turn it, one knee, and kick it out, kick again. Now the basic step, front foot, power jack, one more, T-step, take it up, side, side, up, up, again, and I'll train the last time through, turn it, Ooh. kick it, kick again, now the basic step, here we go, power jack, again, power jack, now the T-step, walk on top, side, side, up, up, again, and alternating knee, push it up, turn it back to the front, now hold it right here, let's get rid of the arms, three more here, 
Now give me a basic step. Right foot, up, up. Now the next step we're going to go into is called an alternating tap. I'll tell you when. You're just going to tap your foot on the floor and we're going to switch knees. Here we go. we got three more. Okay, right foot tapping on the floor. Now left foot. Now switch it. Ooh, good thing I lean and linger on top of things. Take this to a turn step and give me a clap. This is going to be move one. And I'll call it a turn step. we got four more. Last one. Now the next move, I'm going to extend one leg and one arm to the back. Here we go. Push it. Push. And the arms are going to crisscross in the middle, right here. Crisscrossing and extend. This is move two. One more step, and then we'll go back to the turn. All right, give me a turn step with a clap. Woo! Turn again. Now crisscross the arms and step back. Do it again. Now one of each. Turn step. And I'll lunge it back. One more time. Turn step. Okay, we're going to add on. Hold it here, face the side, tap up, tap down, and just push the arms forward. Now don't forget that first part. We got two more here, and then we're going to go over the step to the other side. Get ready. Here we go, take it over the top. Arms up, over the top again. Keep breathing, get lots of oxygen down there. Woo! Got two more. Last time. Now hold it here on this side, push it forward. Now we gotta do one of each. Take it over the top. Hold it right here. Take it over again. Hold it here. Now on those poles, we're gonna put a knee. Give me a left right knee. Now take it over. Now the left knee comes up. Take it over. Two more sets. One more time. Okay. Hold it right here. Tap up, tap down. No more. Are you ready to go back to the beginning? Turn step. Really the club. Let's go. Now lunge to the back. Now hold it here. One knee up. Take it over. One knee. Take it over. Turn step. Let's go. Really the club. And the lunge. Good. Hold it here. One knee. Take it over. One knee. And over. And turn step. Last time through. Lunge. Hold it. Take it over. Okay, now hold it here. Hold it here just to tap. Hide the arms. And instead of just tapping the step, we're going to lift that leg to the side. Here we go. Take it out. Good. Woo, take the arms overhead. And the arms are just going to push straight down on the lift. Now this time when we go over the top, we're going to go up to that corner over there. Get ready. Take it to the corner. Here we go. Hold it here. Give me some legs. Let's move back. Now we got to go to that corner. Up and over. Let's go. Three legs. Move back. And take it to the corner. Three legs. And to the corner. Okay, don't forget that. Hold it right here. Give me a knee. Pull it forward into a knee. Two more here. Now this time, give me three knees right here. Repeaters. Here we go. One, two, three. Take it down. Do it again. For three. And again. Okay, now this time, go back to that turn step with a clap. Here we go. Keep it going. Two more. Last time, hold it here and roll it up and clap. Roll and clap again. Roll and clap again. Okay, now the other knee. Reach and pull. Three more. You got them. 
Now we gotta do those repeaters. Give me three, right here. One, take it down and do it again. One more set. Now back to that turn step again. Roll it up. Now from the beginning, corner to corner, let's go. Lift that leg, travel back. Two more. Now take it to the other corner, up and over. And the leg. Now we gotta do those three knees, repeaters. Here we go, reach and pull. Now just one turn step, and roll and clap. Now to the other corner, up and over. Three legs. Have you got it? <laughs> up and over, corner to corner. Now we're gonna do repeaters with the other knee, your left knee, pull it up. And one turn step, roll it up, and corner to corner, here we go. Remember to keep the abs pulled in real tight. Lift up the chest, take it over the top. Go back. And three knees, you guys have the right knee. Turn step. Roll it up, and last hit to the corner. Here we go. And up and over again. Three legs. And repeat your knees. And one turn step. Roll it up. Now hold it right here. Just tap, up, tap, down. Get rid of the arm. Face the front again. Just a tap. Now give me a basic step with your left foot. Up, up, down, down. Now the arms are going to do exactly what the legs are doing. So they're going to go up, up, down, down. Here we go. Up, up. Now get rid of the arms again. Take the feet to a V. And here the arms are going to go side, side, and then they're going to flow into the waist. Let's go. One arm at a time. Side, side. Full, full. Got those? Take it to an alternating knee. Reach and pull. Now we're going to do an odd number of these knees so that we'll end up on the other leg. And we're going to do the basic step with the opposite foot next time. Get ready. Two more. Okay, no arms. Give me a basic. One more knee. Basic step, other foot, up, up, down, down. You got it. Now you guys have the right foot. Give me the arms, up, up, down, down. Now step out to the V with the arms, side, side, pull, pull. Two more. Okay, back to the alternating knees. Reach and pull. We're just gonna do three of them. And two. Basic step, other side. Now V step, side, side. Now reach and pull into that knee again. Just three of them. Two more. Basic step, other side. Now the V. This is kind of our breather step. And back to those knees. Good, I'm gonna angle these to the corner a bit now. Now basic step to the front. And the V again. right side. Now watch my knees. Next time, I'm going to vary them a little bit, but you guys stay with one that I lean and do what they are doing. Watch my knees. I'm going to do one to the corner, and then I'm going to straddle two of them. And then back to the middle for the basic step. Now the V. Two more knees. Okay, watch again on this side. One knee to the corner, and then I'm going to straddle. Back to the middle. And the V. You guys ready to do it with me next time? Okay. Two more. Here we go. One knee to the corner. Straddle down. And back to the center basic. And the V. Two more. And knees to the other corner. 
straddle down, lift the chest up real tall right here, knees to the side, basic step. Now watch my arms on the V. I'm going to keep these the same. Now comb your hair, thrown back, and pump them in. Do that again. Do it two more times. Okay, knees to the other corner. Here we go. Straddle down, knee side, basic step. Now the V. Do these arms again. Now comb your hair and pump it in. Okay, knees to the other side. You got the whole thing. Do that arms overhead. Basic step. V. Take it out. Throw your hands behind your head. Pump them in. One more. And knees. Basic. Other corner. Real tall here. Just like me. Right to the center. And deep. Going back. Okay, last set. This time, hold these straddle knees. Hold it here. Keep straddling. And we're going to take these knees and kind of move backwards. Keep the same step going, but step off the end of the step. Here we go. So it's going right off the end. And drop the elbows toward the floor. You got them. Woo! Two more here. Okay, now march on the floor. Front foot, march it out. Good work. Two more here. Now take this march on top of the step for a while. Up there. Hold it here. We're going to go into very slow, slow lunges. Remember the lunges? Front foot. Two counts on the floor. Okay, make sure that you're pressing the hips back abdominals in real tight and again you don't want to take that knee past the 90 degree angle when it's bearing weight so don't bend it too much now you guys stay with Eileen and Linda and I'm going to show you a variation of this slow lunge watch mine reachable now do it with me you guys reach and pull and I'm going to call this one a double lunge we got four more of them and three good now take it to a single lunge, one count. Press it front and back. All right, now take it off the end. No arms, front leg off the end. Now the arms here are gonna go dribble, dribble, shoot. Get ready. Here we go, dribble, shoot it up. Boom, little push on top. Now a long time ago we did a step called the straddle down. That's what we're gonna do next. I'll tell you when. Two more here. Okay, open up the arms, straddle down. Four, and three. You ready to go back to the beginning? Slow lunge, front leg, slow lunge. One, slow lunge again. Now do that double lunge with a knee, reach and pull. Double lunge again. Now single lunge, rest it out for four. Now off the end, dribble, dribble, shoot. Got it. Two more here. And straddle down. Open up the arms. Good. Get lots of oxygen here. Two more. And slow lunge. Front leg. Two counts. Now double lunge. Give me that knee. Now single lunge. Move back. Off the end. Double, double, shoot. Two more here. And straddle down, open up the arms. Two more. Woo! All right, keep those feet moving. Two fingers on your carotid artery. Take a walk. Counting for 10 seconds, starting from zero. Ready, count. Stop. Multiply that number by 6. Once again, let's take a look at the conversion table. Your target heart rate range is determined by the equation 220 minus your age times 0.60 and by 0.85%. If you are below that, work a little harder next time. And if you are a little higher, slow it down. Always remember, 
listen to your body for any signs of overexertion, such as pounding in the chest, faintness, or dizziness. We're going to do a quick little cool down, starting with the right foot. Step it out to a... There you go. Both arms reach and pull, take them forward and back. Good. Three more here. Now just give me one arm at a time. Reach right, reach left. Right here. Good. Three more. Now keep the arm the same, but give me two steps to the right this time. Here we go. To the left. Do that again. You can go ahead and cross back if you want to. Great. Fine. Now circle that one arm across your face. Circle right. Now left. Do it again. Good. Let's do one of each. One arm reach. Right arm. Now that circle. Nice and easy. One more time. Reach. And circle. Okay. Now hold it in place with the circle. Hold it here. Now we're going to hold the feet apart and pull the elbow to the back. There you go. Loosen everything up. Now instead of pulling the elbow back, let's drop the arms and just a shoulder here. Circle right and left. For four. Now keep the circles going, but we're going to lunge it right and left. Right and left. Now naturally, one shoulder is going to drop to the front. Let's emphasize that and take it into a shoulder press. Left. Now hold the legs in the center. Keep pressing. For four. Three more here. Two. Now take that rib cage side to side. Bring it up a little. Open up the arms to the side. Good. You got four more here. Now hold it over to this side. Drop the left arm. Take the right arm up and over. Nice long stretch. Keep the abdominals pulled in real tight. Now pivot around into a lunge and press that back heel right into the floor, stretching out the gastrocnemius and the soleus in the lower leg. Good. Now pull the back knee under the hip bone. Shoulders come back and press that knee right to the floor, stretching out the quad and hip flexors. Okay. Shift your hands to the other leg. Weight comes back. Pull the front foot up. Stretching out the hamstring. Good. Now bend the front leg, pivot forward, and roll it all the way to the top. And take the left arm over. Hold it here. And pivot around into a lunge. Good. Keeping that back leg nice and long. Now pull the back knee under the hip bone. Shoulders come back. And drop it straight to the floor. Put your hands. Take your weight back. Flex in the front foot. Good. Bend the front knee, pivot forward, and roll it all the way to the top. And take a nice deep breath in. Pull straight down, hands on the thighs, and roll it up one more time. Inhale again. Now this time, hold it at the bottom. Hold it right here. Take your right hand to your step. Take your left hand to your step. Now drop your legs behind you. Drop the right leg and the left leg. Okay, we're going to do some upper body work right here. Hands should be about shoulder width apart. Elbows are going to be soft. You're going to exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. If you want the advanced version, follow Eileen. If you want intermediate, follow, well, really, Linda's pretty advanced too. And I'll be the apprentice here with my knees bent. Abdominals in. Drop your head for here. Okay, take it down real slow. Here we go. One exhale on the way up. Make sure that your chest hits the edge of the step. Going to 16. Good. Neck is in line with the spine. That's halfway. We got eight more. Last four. Two more. Okay. Hold it up there. Take your hands to the top of the step and press your chest right through the floor. Loosen up the controls. Now the next push-up we're going to show you is going to isolate the tricep muscles a little bit more. Eileen and Linda are going to show you a variation of a tricep push-up, and I'm going to show you a simple, simple one. Mine's the easiest, and theirs is a little bit more difficult. Okay, hands coming a little closer. Now this time, instead of the elbows going out to the side, they're going to head straight behind us. All right? Here we go. Only going to eight, you guys. You ready? Take it down. It's on the way up. Good. This is three. One more. Last two. And one. Excellent. And now works on the back of the arm a little bit more. Let's take one elbow overhead and pull it back gently. And switch arms. Okay, go ahead and roll on over. Put your feet on the step and we're going to do some abdominal work. We're going to come around to the side. 
laying all the way down. And I'm going to start out with the lower half of the abdominals first, and then I'm going to work my way up. So let's take both knees into the chest. Keep the feet real low. Drop the head and shoulders. And give me a pelvic tilt. Just curl it straight up, and then rock it back to the floor. We're trying to pull the pelvic girdle right up to the rib cage. You got it. Pull that stomach in real tight. As you contract the muscles, that's when you want to exhale. And then inhale on the way down. Got it. Not a whole lot of motion here. Trying to emphasize the lower half. We got four more, and then we're going to extend both legs and take the hips right up to the roof. Two more. Okay, long legs. Take them straight up for eight. So if you need a little help here, push the hands into the floor, and that will give you a little boost. Good. Three more here. Now let's drop the feet again back to a pelvic tilt. For eight. And the lower the feet are, the harder work it's going to be for those abs. So try to keep them down. Four more here. And two. Okay, long legs. Take them straight up. For eight. That's four. Okay, drop the feet again. Back to a tilt. But this time, place the fingertips on the crown of the head. As you pull the hips up, add the shoulder blades so everything's coming right into the center of the body, engaging the upper and the lower half of the abdominals. You can't really separate the two, but we can emphasize one more than the other. Now leave your hips still, just the shoulders. Take them up, leaving the hips on the ground. Now as the shoulder blades come up, I'm going to alternate knees Starting with the front knee, pull it into the chest, now the back knee. Take it in and drop it all the way to the step, curling both shoulders off the floor. Good, curling forward. Now let's take it to a twist. Good, taking the opposite shoulder across the body toward the lifting leg. Now keep the twist going, but leave the feet on the step. Bottom. One more here, trying to shorten the distance from the shoulder to the opposite hip bone. Two more. Okay, curl both shoulders forward again. Take it up. Now take both arms right over the kneecaps, extend the arms and reach. Here we go. Good. Keep them forward. Reach them right over the knees. Two more here. Now grab on your legs, hold it as high as you can. Hold it up for four, three, two. Now just take a break for four. Let's do that one more time. Grab your legs, hold it high for four, and relax. Let's go back to the beginning of that. Fingertips on the crown of your head and curl it up for four. We're going to put four of these together. Now reaching over the knees, keep curling for four. Now the isometric contraction, hold your leg for four, and then take a break. You got it? Let's do one more set. Curl it up for four, and extend the arms reaching over the knees for four. And hold your leg, hold it up there, and then take a break. Let's go two counts up, two counts down. Lift, then higher, take it down, and lower. Last time. Okay, hold it at the bottom right there. Take the arms overhead and extend both legs over the step. Take a nice deep breath in, opening up the rib cage, and then exhale and release it. One more time, take a deep breath in. And blow it out. Now go ahead and take both knees back up into the chest and drop them to the back, keeping the shoulder blades on the floor, lifting up the lower back and the hip. Take those knees across your body to the other side. This is my favorite part. 
take him back into the center. Put your back foot on the step and extend the front leg straight up. Try to keep the tailbone on the floor. Good. Release that foot and take the other leg up. Now place both hands below the knee. Drop your foot and pull yourself right to the top, straight up, extending the legs over the step. Now scoot your hips back a bit. Arms come overhead and inhale nice and tall and press forward from the lower back right over the top of those legs. And round the back, roll back to the center. Now we're gonna take the bottoms of the feet together, knees out to the side, holding onto the ankles and press right over the top again. Good. Roll it back to the center and take both feet out to the side, one hand behind your back and help yourself up. Hands on the thighs right here and round and flatten your back. Drop it back to the center, flatten it out for four and this time roll it all the way to the top for four, three, two. Open up your feet to the side, take a deep breath and exhale and pull your feet together. Have a great day. Good workout. Did you guys have a good workout?